Oh, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Night2727, playing a little WWE 2K17 on the PlayStation 4 Universe Mode co main event Finn Balor vs. Triple H tonight on Raw. Finn Balor is going against Triple H. Not sure what this is about, but I'm guessing that Finn Balor is a main eventer pretty much. You know, like a top guy in the universe after winning a universal championship where they placed him. This would be his first appearance on my universe mode. So, you know, um, I'll probably keep it that way, but I... Nice counter by him. I just... I can't have him really beating Triple H. You know, Triple H. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm raw. It's, I'm not saying, like, oh, his character just isn't there yet, but, like, he doesn't even build up yet in my universe. You know, you gotta build up on, like, other people and actually get some momentum where the, like, overall does, like, raise a bit. You know what I mean? And then it would be, like, more suitable. Like, I feel like I'd be killing Triple H's momentum and I wouldn't actually give him a lot because he's Triple H. He's not gonna win everything. Pushing Chris Jericho right now is the champion. They finally got his character model right. Probably tweak his moveset a bit. Sure, you got the come on, baby. Been waiting for that taunt. Better not have took that out. Let's see how much of a fight Finn puts up. You know, I'm curious about that. Ah, Get off. My legs are bad. Gonna be very Triple H like and beat the crap out of him. Who like say just ran up the ropes like that? Yeah, work his arm. Maybe the leg. Let's mix it up. I like to turn this into a fight real quick. A little counter battle. Boost some stars. Mix it up a bit. And then go for a grab what he counters and try to counter what he does. That's usually how I get a lot of um, momentum. Too fast, oh man. I guess I'm gonna get stomped out. Go for a quick cover. And let's be cocky. Teeny bit. They got me another half a star. Alright man, the spine buster, I'm letting you know. It's on its way. Keep it up. So lucky I don't get a pedigree. Oop. Too fast, oh god, I'm gonna die. What? Look, damn it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's put him down real quick. And then he got his signature, he's about to do his thing. But I'm curious about his resiliency, you know what I mean? Like, if he gets hit with a pedigree at some point where he still has a lot of red health, like, if it's not all deteriorated, you know, and he can't kick out, that means, like, he really needs a lot of work in the universe. I can still also like give him like different forms of resiliency as well. Right now we a pile driver puts him down. Not gonna give him time for the whole comeback thing. Another one, boom. Vintage Triple H. I hit the direction, see if this is the one with the kick. No, it's not. Oh man, missed it. How's he gonna go for it? He's gonna go for a taunt. I can use a ring escape in there. Am I gonna make quick work of this guy? To find out. Vintage. That planted with a nice DDT or something. I went with uh, Pedigree for a direction. Uh, that was the one without the kick. Don't really want to see that one. The way he grappled at him, I'm assuming that's what it was. 
Ah, screw it. Get these stars up real quick. Losing points for not being a back and forth. I should tap. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Show Bowl, you know. I'm just gonna pick him up and just go back and wrangle all cocky. I just have a feeling that he's just gonna Irish whip me and beat the crap out of me to slide in, so I'm not gonna take the chance. If he can't get in, that's his fault. I picked him up. <laughs> I wanna do certain things, but I don't wanna get too cocky in my universe and mess up. So, I wanted to drop him with a DDT, did it. Kick to the midsection. Hooks the arms. Pedigree. Now let's see whether he got it. Does he have it in him to kick out of the legendary pedigree? Put so many greats away. No blood, a little disappointed, but it didn't really work to head like that. Yeah, it did. Isn't right. No blood. Should have put him on a chair. Finn Balor. Proving that he needs to get some wins in my universe. Kicking out of a pedigree. He could have still been early, though. But he definitely did use resiliency. His resiliency will be um, is finisher based, so he could have two. I think one and two. Yeah, one and two and three is the one where you can use it at any time. Power drive on the outside, still no blood. Maybe he's gonna count that. I think we both connected on that one. On the outside. I could win off of that. I got an idea. I got an idea. This is going to be a good match. It's going to be a five star match. I feel it. They can pull this off. Not sure which I want to do. Hmm. I can combine two ideas together actually. I'm plotting. Hey, put me in a ring. Put me in a ring. Don't fuck this up. some time yeah give me just enough time to get up that's all I need not chance of that bleed thank you No, I went in my customization settings and I increased the time for the ref to be down. So let's see how oh, I can get a nice sledgehammer hit in. Oh my god, the counter. Crap. No, and I didn't get that one. Oh god, he's going for it. <laughs> Could have just lost this match. This could be the biggest win for Finn Balor right now. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. Ned just made this a five star match. He's pissed. He is so pissed. see what we got here. I use it. Ooh. 
What? <laughs> what was that? There we go. Sledgehammer to the midsection. Throws him right back in. Rest completely unaware of what just went down. Finn Balor struggling. Struggling to get up. Triple H. The kick to the midsection. Hooks the arms. Pedigree. That is how you have a five star match. First attempt at the sledgehammer of Zelda. Me getting hit with a coup de gras. Just able to kick out. With a bloody Finn Balor getting pinned after a pedigree. Man. Was able to get that sledgehammer shot in there. And just put him right in a ring and just set immediately up for it. It's just too perfect. Wonder if they got any of that spine buster. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Any of that sledgehammer shot in there. Another. You know, two spine busters. Counters the first pedigree attempt. Pedigree. Yeah, that was the first pedigree, and that's most likely to pin. The second. Yeah, replay suck. But wow, that is a five star match right there. Finn Balor definitely did put up a decent fight. Nice coup de gras after just the attempt with the sledgehammer. Just played out well. And just after the second shot, you know, he was just completely out. Was able to roll him right in the ring. Dead center to ring, land a pedigree. It was just too good. Too good. Bowed down to the king. Triple H. Sean, he still got it. I mean, it's only right. No, oh, they booing. They don't even want to see it happen. Poor guy. I wonder if you... If you, um, let me see. Let me see. Get out of my way. I wonder if you get him with like these super levels of critical damage, you know what I mean? Like, can you injure somebody? And then like after that, after their damage within the match, and you do something like this, will it injure them? And a Dean Ambrose is out, don't know why. Oh man. Got it. Perfect match ender, I'm telling you. Oh, I might cut a little close. Oh, that's right on target. Right on target. Pedigree on the chair after just so much nonsense in one match. And that right there, that was perfect. That was a perfect way to end that. Because that's one of the taunts, and that's one of the few times it worked well. All right. Like that's the uh, the taunts and stuff. So you could set which different ones you want. So like at the end of the match, and you attack somebody like that, you could probably have like Sheamus be like, "Are you not entertained?" If you set it up the right way. Actually, we'd like to figure out which taunt that is. Like what scenario that would be? Was that is that still registered as a uh, like grounded opponent taunt? Is what I want to know. If you know the answer to that, because I would like to customize those for a couple other ones just to have it more authentic to the superstar after breakouts because like you know things like that worked out too well but anyway once again i'm into the ite 2727 thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe